Welcome back to another video. Today, I am going to be sharing with you the realities of divorce. Oftentimes, when people reach out to me and say, Mama, I want to leave my husband, and I, I try to advise them out of their decision, they will be like, Nana, you are doing so well, you are happy, and it's as if I there is a joy, that, it's as if there is a reward in divorce that I am depriving them of. I also want to say that I'm not contradicting myself, but I believe that when it comes to divorce and marriage it should be a personal decision i should not tell you that oh you are going through a b and c so oh yeah pack your things and leave your marriage i am here to tell you the realities what people will not tell you about divorce what i wish i knew before i took that that decision yeah all that I will share with you are uh, things that I have gone through. They are my personal experiences. So if it differs from what you know or what you went through, please drop your experience in the in the in the comment section. Welcome back. The first thing that I want to say is that if you are contemplating <laughs> divorce, the biggest challenge that you will face is finance. Yes, it is finance. I know most of you, you get support from your fam, your, your husbands or your wives. You are together. And so you do things together. You put your monies together. Even if you don't put your monies together, you bring one kubo he, she also brings one peswa. Then you put together to spend on the family. Once you get divorced you are going to be alone you are going to be the sole financier of your life of of your children in most cases i'll come to that so that you are not going to receive any support over here in africa where the systems are not working when couples get apart or they get divorced the support for children you have to be financially independent when it comes to divorce with or without children the second thing is emotionally and mentally you are going to be destabilized because things are not going to be easy for you when it comes to your emotions you see over over some over time you have been massaged your 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 libido has been satisfied your libido has been satisfied you've been doing Touch me, touch me, touch me, hey. And bend over. You've been doing it. Uh -huh. You've been doing it. So once in a while, that edge, that feeling would come. And it, because you, you have no partner, you have no husband. So how are you going to satisfy that desire? And know that this one, no matter how prayerful you are, you are going to feel it. It is not man-made. This is God-made. It was created by the three in one. So you are you telling me that the Holy Ghost is going to burn something that he has created? So that it no go happen. You no go find them because now in create mm -mm, this one, Holy Ghost fire, no matter how how hot you are spiritually, that edge go come. Holy Ghost fire no go consume man because now he create them. So this explains why most divorces open the gates for for open the gates for every dick and hurry to enter if you don't take care you are going to be promiscuous especially in this season where the weather has brought itself you sleep at night then your body will be doing you some way the next thing is spiritually hey spiritually you are going to feel the heat when naomi returned to bethlehem with ruth when they got to the town gate, the city gate, the women that met them, they were like, is this Naomi? 
Naomi knew, here comes Naomi, here comes Naomi. I believe some of them were like, ah? Huh? Now this be the Naomi where he left here. Naomi went in full. That was what she said. The Naomi that went as a young lady, a beautiful girl, is coming in devastated, is coming in rugged, is coming in sad, is coming in dead. So they were surprised to, to, to see Naomi in that state. That is how it is in our case. For me, I when people call, they will say, Ah, Nana, is that you? Ah, Mommy, be my auntie, what I will be here, will say, It shouldn't have been you. Then you will ask yourself, God, why me? So is this how it it is to follow you? You couldn't even prompt me when I was getting into this marriage. When I was going there, God, you could have given me a sign, forgetting the fact that there is the word called choice. God has given us the free will to choose, to take our own decisions. No matter how spiritual you are, you are going to blame God. You are going to do the blame game. You blame yourself, but you blame God in a bigger way because he, he knows the end from the beginning. The last thing is physically physically you are going to be drained because everything that i have said is going to happen in this fine body of yours everything is going to be carried on your head as a person people are going to misunderstand you and that is the greatest so personally you are going to have people fight you you are going to receive so many so many advice but you need to filter them some are going to say i know this pastor here there's this man of god here all you have to do is to take his underwear blah blah there he's not going to kill him he's a man of god he has, he's going to do a and b and c to him he's going to do this but you sit down and then you align these things with the principles of the bible then you know that oh this is so not me and you keep quiet you don't follow them ah this girl still loves the husband no that is why she's not doing that the people will withdraw from you some said oh let's publish his picture on facebook so that it ends there he doesn't continue hurting women and i wasn't ready i wasn't ready because when even if i don't do it and someone does it whose picture are they going to use as so Everybody is going to say that, oh, so Mami Pema is no longer married. C and D to her. Meanwhile, I wasn't ready to face that ridicule. I wasn't ready to face that, but people did not understand me. It might not come in this form. This is just an example. And even when I was ready, I spoke about it. Ah, the attack came. She still loves him. Why didn't you put his picture? Why didn't you mention his name? But go and check the video. Go and check the video. I did not mention any name. I said what I have to say. But go and read the comments. People that knows him, they have come to say what they want to say. My, my objective is not to paint anybody black. I am sharing my story to inspire others. I am sharing my story to educate for others to find strength for others to be vigilant to open their eyes well no matter how small or big they are that is why i don't go that dirty way of sharing my story but people will not understand you people are going to be at loggerheads with you because your thoughts do not align with this for that one it is going to come in different folds it's going to be <laughs> it's going to come bush 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 but no matter how hurt you are no matter if if you're watching this video as a divorcee no matter how hurt you are please stop going about insulting people i made a video here and then in that video i said i said i didn't know that after all i am going to meet that f man <laughs> that f man and hey 
thing the people that knows me in real life they didn't take it lightly because that is not me my family were calling why did it why did you use that word everybody was calling because you know what in the heat of it go and ask him i never for once insulted him they reached out to me and then i took the video down people are going to fight you with your decisions but if it comes and you just as i have said you align it with your principles with the bible and everything and it's it, it and what they are saying is the way to go quickly you withdraw then you follow that path but if it is not 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 don't be blinded by bitterness my dear, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope you have learned from it. I take no glory that I am a divorcee. I don't I, I don't brag. I don't I'm not so proud of myself. I am proud. I don't know how to put it. I'm not contradicting myself. Oh. I am happy in my state because check my videos from then and now. Go back to 2020, 20. 20 20 up to i shared the story i first shared my story in march i think that was when that was when my total healing started when i was able to talk about it publicly so check me from those time downwards you will see i i was dying but look at me now i am proud i am so proud of myself but <laughs> I, I hope you get me i hope you get me because i never i never saw myself to be where i am i never saw myself to go into a marriage and come up out after four months that was so not my plans i had plans for myself i had i i had programmed how my life will look like in my head how i'm going to have a beautiful family how i'm going to do this how i'm going to do that that is the plans i had for myself but just as we say i don't know whether it is biblical or not we say man proposes but god disposes so this 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 situation that i find myself although i am happy it is not that i am happy about it because it is a dream come true because it is what i am i was expecting however i am happy because i came out alive i came out beautiful though broken look at me now look at the glow on my face look at how fast i am growing. i'm even crying that i want to mm -hmm. so that is it though that is it if you know someone who is contemplating divorce please share this video to them i know you have been sharing my videos my dear keep sharing 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 when you share my videos you are not going to be struck with copyright sharing is free share my videos subscribe to the channel like the video and also leave a beautiful comment let's keep the conversation going in the comment section my dear until i come your way with another video i pray that whenever you say a prayer you don't forget to see one for me and my household and i leave with the peace and the message of the most high peace oh yeah job peace Bye-bye.